Friends and family are trying to cope after a 17 year old Purcell Marion Jr. is shot to death in Evanston. He was outside his grandmother's home. Good evening. I'm Molly Blair and I'm Curtis Fuller. WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin is in East Walnut Hills tonight where school officials are preparing for a painful return to class. It's not clear why the 17 year old was shot. Friends say he was a well loved football player and had a positive impact on people around him tonight. All of that lost in violence. A horrific scene along Wabash Avenue, a young life taken with the pull of a trigger. He was lost to senseless gun violence in the front yard of his grandmother's home. Andy Farfsing, Purcell Marion High School's principal, sharing a message of love and support for his students, 17 year old Gregory Thompson Jr., his family, friends, and classmates. Greg would come in to see me in my office, oh, probably once a day, every day. And, um, and we'd share stories and, and laugh and talk about grades and, and all things under the sun. Farfsing says he and many students learned Thompson Jr. was shot to death shortly after it happened Friday night. Neighbors are spooked. One heard pops and saw a black Lexus speed off. Farfsing says Thompson Jr. transferred to the school this year. He was a friend to many and shared a bond with the student athletes. Summit Country Day shared photos on Facebook of Thompson Jr. as a football player on the youth and middle school teams, mentioning his nickname, the hammer he earned years ago. Now that symbol of strength is gone and his loved ones want answers. One of our brothers is gone and we'll mourn him and we'll celebrate his life. And together, we'll make it through this time. School officials say grief counselors will be on hand tomorrow. They also say funeral arrangements have not been set just yet. Reporting in East Walnut Hills, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. And tonight, that boy's mother shared this statement with us. He was a wonderful young man, loved by his family and many friends. My family and I are requesting some privacy as we are mourning this tragic loss. Thank you, she says, for your prayers and condolences.